Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're talking about the new VanQuest Katara 16. What I want to do in this video is show you how I use this pack as a day hiking pack in the woods. I'm just back from four days of being out in New York State and doing some camping. And then also how I set this up as an everyday carry pack, which I used this bag for probably the better part of a month as my EDC bag when I was going to and from work. So let's start off by talking through some of the features and showing you what I have in the pack as far as how I set it up and how I've been using it as my day hiking pack. Let's talk about the back first. You can see we have a large pocket and then a smaller pocket here. Uh, on this larger pocket, you can see there are slots cut so you can attach uh, molly gear, whatever type of uh, items you want to attach there, whether it's a first aid kit or other things. Uh, we do have those nice big poles and also a locking option here for the um, zippers. They do go down almost the whole way, so three quarters of the way around. And this opens up, you can see high vis orange in here. I just got my rappel in here to keep the bugs away. Um, we do have my very small um, camping stove, I think this is from Emberlit. And then you can see a large pocket here, lanyard, smaller pocket, smaller pocket, and then more high vis here. And then you can see also a, uh, the see-through kind of honeycomb there so you can see what's inside. Unzip this and I've got a headlamp and a pen in there. And so immediately you could tell lots of storage for um, how the gear is organized. And you're gonna see in the main section, I didn't organize all the gear really neatly. I just crammed the gear in just to kind of test it on that level. And then when we look at it as an EDC setup, you'll see it's a little bit more organized. Um, but this is that front larger pocket. Got a large hook and loop field up here if you wanna put patches or you know anything else you wanna attach with Velcro. Here's the zipper pulls. Fold this down, you can see another one of those honeycomb style pockets. I've got some uh, field notes in there, and I, I had an extra pen. Oh, there it is. Extra pen as well. Up here we have elastic, so I've got a knife, one of the new uh, rip spools from Exotac, a flashlight, and then a large, um, what is this called, the pocket shark, I think, yeah, from Cold Steel. And then there's another pocket back here. So again, lots of organization in the bottom and in this top section as well. Okay, going over to the side, you can see I have one of the VanQuest water bottle holders. I've got a 32 ounce Nalgene in here. This does have an elastic shock cord, so you can put that around the top of the Nalgene. And you can attach the water bottle holder to the Molly Air uh, laser cut webbing on the side. I'll flip it to the other side to show you what it looks like with nothing on. But I was concerned hiking with this, that this was gonna be weighing so much on one side that my bag would be unbalanced. But I just put a little bit of extra weight on the inside, on the opposite side of the um, bag and it was totally balanced. This was fine, no issues. It wasn't shaking and moving a ton, very secure. Real quick, you can see here too, when I take the, um, the Nalgene out, now I can just collapse this down and that's gonna lie nice and flush against, my, uh, against the side. So it's not like it's sticking out and getting caught on things. There's a hook and loop here and then just pull this snug like so. Now you just want to tuck this down inside or you know wrap it up and tuck it inside and then uh, this is going to stay out of your way. So this is what it looks like when it's all compressed. Again, nice and, nice and um, compact now. It's not going to get caught up in anything. It's not hanging off. It's not going to get caught up on trees, etc. All right, so here's the other side with laser cut model. You can see I've got my Topps Brachimo attached here. I hiked with this thing on and I was going up and down hills. As you can see, I took a couple little diggers and got some dirt on the knife, um, but it stayed on. It didn't fall off at all. Relatively easy to remove it, just adjust the clip. And there's a look at your laser cut molly. So you can attach a water bottle, a knife, other gear to this, um, you know, just to have more options for carrying gear. You can also see down on the bottom, we've got um, a bunch of webbing here. These are thinner, but they are probably quadruple stitch. So very secure if you want to attach a bedroll or something else to the bottom of the bag. And actually the bottom of the bag is also um, high grade Kdora. So it's going to be the one of the strongest parts of the bag. When you put it down, it's not going to get torn up. It's very durable. So I'm gonna pull out the gear that I have in this main section and then we'll open it up to show you what the internals look like. So I had a um, tarp in case it rained when I was out day hiking. Had my fire kit to work on fire skills. And then basically what I did is I took two of my possibilities pouches, I think they're called from the Hidden, Hidden Woodsman. Um, and just since they're already organizing this, I just put them down in the pack. So I had that as well. And then down in the bottom, I had this as well. I actually had a, um, poncho in here for a bit as well. I have my um, Tough Possum Gear multi-purpose survival scarf in there as well. And yeah, that's everything that I just basically crammed into this main section. So let me open it up now and I can show you the uh, different storage capabilities of the bag. All right, so here's the inside of the bag. You can see we have bright orange there. We have the see-through honeycomb here. 
again, lots of pockets. That's just a VanQuest thing. We do have hook and loop here. So you can put items in here, particularly you can put a water bladder. There's the uh, loop up there if you want to attach it and then pass through is up there on top. Here we've got um, elastic on the sides, elastic on the sides. I uh, pouch up here to organize gear. And then we have this cool pouch that you can zip on this side to access it, zip on this side to access it, and then also just open it up like this. And this is for hook and loop and that's for hook and loop as well. So if you have Velcro, you can attach a ton of gear here on the inside of the bag. Now, when I was out day hiking, I used this as a backpack. This bag can be converted to a sling bag as well, which I'll show you when we talk about the EDC setup and how I use this bag in that way. Uh, what I can tell you is that um, the sternum strap was great, just gave me extra stability. Um, I love the fact that you have these little hook and loop, kind of, I don't know, lo loops of hook and loop so you can control the uh, length of the strap. It's not just kind of hanging all over the place. Um, pretty good airflow for a bag. I mean, anytime hike, hiking in hot and humid weather, you're gonna get warm. But I would say this is pretty good airflow. Extra padding here on the bottom. And uh, the straps were very comfortable. The other thing I like is that you do have a grab handle up here with this neoprene. So if in the process of, you know, you sit down, you have lunch, and you gotta move your bag, easy to grab a hold of this. This is an easy way to get out of the car as well, obviously. So yeah, that's kind of the setup and how I've used it for the past four days for day hiking. Now let's talk about EDC with this bag. Let me talk about how to convert this from a backpack to a sling bag. So when I run a sling bag, I run it from my left shoulder down to my right hip. So first thing I wanna do is take this strap off completely. So that's one, and then I'm gonna tuck this inside underneath this main uh, larger padded section. And then secondly, I'm gonna pop this snap here, which is a little hard to do, which is good. There we go. Open this up. And take out the hook and loop. That's the second step, and then third step is unhook this. So now this is removed. Now what I'm gonna do is take this upper section and set it up over here. So with the hook and loop open, I'm gonna remove this. And you can see there's actually a stitched in line so you know where it goes. I'm gonna unhook this. And now I'm just gonna basically attach it to the other side here. Line it up, close it up, snap, and then attach this hook like so. And now that's set up as a sling bag to go from my left shoulder down to my right hip. Okay, I'll give you the rundown now, everything I have for my EDC setup. So in this front section, you can see I've got my first aid kit, and then up here I've got my plug for my, uh, for my laptop. And that's pretty much it in this front section. Up here, I've got some different gear, but I've got pens in this top section. And then here I've got multi-tool, pocket knife, flashlight, and then more plugs for like iPhone, iPad, uh, earphone, stuff like that. That's in the second section. In the main section, I do want to note a couple things. Uh, you can see I've got my laptop in here. This section is made to fit tablets or 12 inch laptops. This is a 13 with a case on it, but that just sits fine in there, no big issue. It'll ride comfortably. It's not, hasn't moved around or, you know, gotten jostled around when I'm carrying uh, gear and then just spin this around. And then over here, I don't have a ton of extra gear. One extra thing I do keep in here is a, um, a Shimog scarf. So that's kind of how I've, not kind of, that is how I have it set up. And one other thing I want to mention here is that there are these snaps on the side, on both the uh, right and the left hand side, and that's just an extra precaution. So if you do have it unzipped, this will keep it from just opening up completely. So I had these undone just so I had easy access to the zippers, but an extra feature to make sure that your, uh, your gear doesn't fall out. Another feature on this bag I want to talk about in relation to the sling bag and really everyday carry setups. You could use it when you're out in the woods, but I think it's built more for everyday carry type use, is there is a uh, CCW compartment. So you sling this around to the front here. Now it's lying across my chest and you can hear the hook and loop. But back in here, now you've got a section where you can put your pistol. So this has hook and loop, hook and loop field inside and this is also accessible on this side as well. So whether you have it slung on your right side or your left side, now you've got a CCW compartment. When you sling it around like this, it's great because now it's sitting comfortably across your chest. Boom, access here, and then draw your weapon. Now I had shot a video on this bag a while back. 
Uh, but then when I published it, somebody noted in the comments that I hadn't swapped out the, um, the straps when I set it up as a sling bag, so I was using the wrong strap. So I took that video down, and I readjusted it, set it up, and I have now, I'm shooting this video to show you A, how it's supposed to be properly set up. Uh, secondly, I've used it for four days in the woods as a backpack, and now I've also carried it as a sling bag with my EDC gear in it. So I have a pretty good amount of experience with this bag. Uh, I had noted in the other video that I like it as a backpack more than a sling bag, but I felt like I probably didn't give it a fair shake because I didn't have it set up properly. I can tell you now, I still like it more as a backpack compared to a sling bag, but it's much more comfortable as a sling bag when you do have the, the strap set up properly. So let me give you some thoughts on the bag overall. Uh, as I've said in the past with a lot of VanQuest gear, if you're not into organization, you just want a big pouch where you can throw stuff in, then I probably wouldn't buy a VanQuest pack. They have tons of organization, which for me is great, keeps all the gear where I want it to be. So definitely organization. Um, high grade materials is what VanQuest uses. This bag in either tan, black, or gray, and I have it in the wolf gray, is gonna run you around 150 now. You can get it in the black multicam, which is about 160. Um, so you're definitely paying for it, but it's gonna last you a very, very long time. I have yet to have a VanQuest bag just blow out on me and not work and have some major issue. It's always, they've always held up. That's why I like their, uh, their product so much. Um, if you want something that can convert from a backpack to a sling bag, this is definitely something I would check out. Um, it's easy to do, as you saw, and it's comfortable in both setups. I prefer a sling bag for work and a backpack for being out in the woods, and it gives you both those options so you can use it in a variety of different ways. So overall, here are some upsides for this bag. Um, good quality materials, good construction, uh, lots of organization, and the fact that it's convertible from a backpack to a sling bag. I think it's going to be a win for a lot of people who don't have the money in buying a bag for, or to buy a bag just for backpacking or day hiking, and then one for work. This allows you to buy one bag and use it in both, both settings. Uh, downsides for this are going to be price. It's not super cheap. And another thing is, I wish that um, sleeve for the tablet and the 12-inch laptop was big enough to fit a 13-inch laptop. It's not a make or break thing for me, but that would have pushed it to another level. That would have been another big win for this bag. Now, some people see a lot of my videos about VanQuest because I've looked at a lot of their gear, but for folks who haven't, I always um, say to them, I like working with VanQuest because good quality gear that's going to last you for a long time, and they listen to customer feedback. They make changes based on what people see and experience with their bags, and they're paying attention to the details. Even these... Um, right here this little thing to organize the um, the extra strap on the sling that's huge I just like all those little details add up to a high quality bag and makes the experience of using the bag even better so definitely a thumbs up for the Katara 16 for me and uh, if you're looking for something that has those particular features I mentioned you can check it out I've got links in the description section if you want to purchase one of these bags or other gear from VanQuest and uh, if you do go over there and you order something let them know that you heard about their gear from everyday tactical vids all right guys, once again, this has been the Katara 16 from VanQuest. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.